let's take up the topic of data file handling now first of all let's understand what is data file handling since this is a new concept right now um, when I say data file handling uh, it basically means that you're going to store um, the information into a data file so till now we were uh, using our uh, C out and C in statements and that those uh, records suppose you wanted to enter the record of um, 50 students we stored it in arrays or something like that now basically that array was not stored permanently anywhere so next time when you want to see the same thing it is not there you will have to enter the information once again right so now when you store the information into a file that is stored in the file permanently and next time when you access that particular program you can read from that file or you can write some additional data into a file so it is the same thing like when you have a uh, Microsoft Word file or Excel file whatever you are putting the data into that and next time you can open the file and look at that data right so that is what we are going to do now in C++ okay now first of all let's see the file there are two types of uh, there are two types of things that you can do in file handling one is you can input data into a file and the next one is output data so I'll write this input data from a file and output data into a file right now we know that in C++ you have got predefined classes header files all these things so here the header file which is used for this data file handling is the fstream.h so you will have to include this fstream.h when you are writing programs for data file handling okay okay now in this fstream.h right now you have got classes inside this now as I said you have got input and output so for input we have a class which is called if stream and output is off stream right now in all these uh, classes the word stream is used okay uh, so stream basically means a sequence of bytes that is the flow of data right okay so I say that uh, the data is to flow from the memory into a uh, data file or from the data file into the memory right so that is the flow of data that flow of data is called a stream here right flow of data is called a stream and the stream uh, is a term which is used at the lowest level right uh, like the flow of data at the lowest level that is what is called a stream right so stream is also defined as a sequence of bytes so it basically means a sequence of bytes flowing from one location to another right so that is what is called a stream so in C++ when you do data file handling in all the places you will be using the word stream if stream out if stream off stream f stream right uh, you have this io stream normal programs you include io stream dot h 
so io stream dot h is also input output stream right so that's how we use it okay now let's see this input like i said if stream right if stream is for input input means taking input from a file and using it in your program right and off stream is output so you have written a program and you are writing data from the program to the data file which can be stored there permanently right so the concept of data file handling should be clear as to what is happening in this data file handling what are we trying to do here right okay so the basic purpose of this data file handling is to store information into a data file and whenever you want you can read back that data from that data file otherwise the concept of programming becomes uh, i mean like useless because unless and until you are able to store the data somewhere there is no use right so in the initial stages you were taught only to accept data display data and all such things but now the real application you will have to store the data in some permanent file right okay now i'll show you one uh, small diagram here this is the disk file right and here you have your program this is the c++ program that you are writing okay now this is the file disk file now first i'll show you this program in this program supposing you are accepting some data from the user and now you want to store this data into this disk file so how does it happen see this is your program and this program will go through the output stream like this this is your output stream here supposing this is my output stream right and this output stream will take your data from here to this place this disk file right so this uh, program this is the data output right whatever is out, whatever is the output from the program that goes through this uh, output stream this is your output stream okay and here this is your memory to file so output stream from the output stream it's basically a memory that from memory to file it is going there right okay so here it is basically what, what is it doing it is writing the data to the file now i want to read the data from the file so in that case now we'll have to go from the disk file we are going to read the data right so in that case now from here i'm taking the information and there is again a stream here now this is your input stream okay and from this input stream it takes the data into the program so it is actually reading from that particular disk file 
so here you have read data from file right read data from file that is it is going from the file to the memory and this is your input stream here so this input stream is taking the data from the file to your memory and then it is giving that particular information as input to the program right so this is what basically happens when you are doing a data file handling program okay so we have uh, many classes predefined classes inside this fstream.h uh, we will be looking at all those classes and how to implement the methods of these classes right so in this session i have just given a introduction of what is your data file handling what are the different classes wh what are the different classes that are used here and what is the basic use of this data file handling right so with that i would end today's session in my next sessions on data file handling we'll take up the concepts relating to the input and output related classes and methods